Welcome back to the Veil's Cubum 94 ripoff series where no matter what I say there's going to be comments like OMG you only do stupid ripoff videos now and who could forget um Veil learn the difference between a ripoff and an inspiration jeez louise but today we're going to be talking about a ripoff of Peppa Pig I know I've made jokes about this show in the past but for real it's actually an extremely popular kid show all over the world it isn't hard to make it's short, and it teaches kids lessons all the time. This popularity has led to a ripoff called Chapuzino Vermello. Translated to English, it means Little Red Riding Hood. But that doesn't make any sense, right? How is it a Peppa Pig ripoff? Well, to start out, we should take a look at the company who made this cartoon, Video Brinquedo. Also known as Toyland Video, they were a Brazilian animation studio that made low-budget, direct-to-video animated movies that were ripoffs of many other popular movies. One of the ripoffs was called Ratatouille, with a very close resemblance to the Pixar movie Ratatouille. Glideformers was a clear ripoff of Transformers. The Little Panda Fighter was made because of Kung Fu Panda's popularity. The list goes on, but you get the idea. This company is known for making horrible animated movie ripoffs, so it's no surprise that they would make a show trying to steal the glory of a more popular cartoon. And that's where we get to Chapuzino Vermella, which I'll just be calling Little Red Riding Hood from now on. First of all, you take a quick glance at the show and realize the style is exactly like Peppa Pig. You have these thick outlines on the characters with very simplistic and relaxing backgrounds. There are bright colors everywhere, so this is basically a story taking place in the same world as Peppa Pig. I'm pretty sure these characters are supposed to be people, but the style keeps making me think they're pigs. Either way, they have that cheek circle that's shown all the time in Peppa Pig, so that was clearly intentional. In the second episode of this ripoff, there's a guy that looks exactly like how a pig would look in Peppa Pig. To be completely honest, I think this is supposed to be a person, but I really have no idea. I mean, the nose is in the front in the same way as you'd expect on a pig, but why isn't the skin color pink? Or is this some kind of fusion between a human and a pig? I have no idea what's going on here, but let's move on. Can we stop and talk about the way people talk in this show? Their mouths just move at the speed of light and everything is so fast paced. It also looks like they have some serious breathing problems when their chest keeps moving as they talk. There needs to be an episode of this Peppa Pig ripoff where everyone goes to the doctor. This stuff seriously needs to be checked out. I don't really listen to those two lungs of yours. Breathe in. And again. You seem to be a little low right now. I wonder why that is. Vixe, Chapeuzinho, nem tivemos tempo de falar com... There's a wolf character in this cartoon that seems to be original at first, but then you look at the source material of Peppa Pig and you see someone named Wendy Wolf. Could this be a coincidence? Definitely, but keep in mind this is Video Brinquedo and they're known to rip off stuff like this. You may have been wondering how I've gotten so far in the video without actually talking about the plot. To be honest, I have no idea. Some episodes feature the characters getting turned into fruit, and other episodes only have long scenes of talking with nothing else. None of the episodes I found were in English, and I couldn't find a good captions option, so it's pretty hard to see what's happening here. I would assume since it's a kid's show they try to teach lessons, but that's just a guess. I put the descriptions of these videos in Google Translate, and it says that if what you're looking for is children's music, educational videos, children's story, and fun, you're in the right place. So yeah, it's safe to assume that this Peppa Pig ripoff also tries to teach lessons. If you actually speak the language heard in this Little Red Riding Hood show, let me know what stuff they're actually doing. Overall, I feel like this cartoon is just really hard to watch. The fact that I can't understand it is bad, but what's even worse is all the characters' movements when they speak. This sort of show should be in one of those YouTube videos where you see how long it could go. I probably wouldn't even make it to five minutes. O Batman chamou o carro dele de Batmóvel. Por que eu não posso chamar o meu de Lobo Móvel? O Lobo Mal tem razão. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, guys.